Hello everyone, welcome to video 2 of my build block. Uh, please excuse my audio before I get a, uh, a legit mic. Um, I'm using the, uh, the headset um, for my HyperX gaming headset. So um, the, uh, I've, I've noticed from the first video that the, uh, the audio is not super great. So please bear with me until I can get a uh, legit mic. Um, here in this video I'm mainly installing the motherboard into the computer case. Um, for the case I have chosen a uh, Fantex in through Primo. Um, it is I believe still their biggest case. Um, it offers support for up to 480 radiators um, and I think it supports up to two of them. Uh, in addition it can support another 360 in the front so the uh, this case is great for water cooling. Um, I would I would highly recommend um, for people building with uh, CPU coolers, um, especially CPU water blocks, to install those before you install those onto the motherboard before you install the motherboard into the case. It would it would be um, it 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 generally is a lot easier to install these like outside the case than uh, after you input uh, after you put it in the case. And I've had cases in the past where the uh, the motherboard cutout in the uh, for the CPU coolers is not big enough to fit you know to fit the bracket through or to fit the screws through you know various kinds of problems where I had to like take the motherboard out and then uh, reinstall the uh, and install the CPU cooler um, before I can put the motherboard in the case and install it um, let's see uh, here you can see some of the some of the extensions hanging um, outside of some of the uh, the rubber grommets in the case. Um, I've noticed that for aesthetics purposes, um, one of the easiest things you can do is to change your cable, change your power cables to some custom ones. At least get some of the uh, the custom braided ones. Um, those will help your build look a lot cleaner. Um, and especially if you get these um, these colored ones that match your color scheme well, um, this is a super simple and easy way of you know improving the look of your build. Now this motherboard has a uh, pretty cool feature called the uh, the OC Genie. This feature is great for um, people who are looking to overclock who haven't who are kind of new to overclocking and maybe haven't done a lot of overclocking in the past and they just want a super easy um, fast way kind of a one-click approach to getting a little bit more out of their chip now with this Fantex Etho Primo case um, in addition to the great you know radiator various radiator sizes support um, it also has some other pretty good features. One of them is the uh, the placement of the PSU. It's hidden behind um, the bottom red piece. You, you can see a part of it um, bulging out, and uh, the the PSU is um, is mounted behind there, so it hides it pretty well. Um, it's basically got a uh, you know a built-in uh, PSU shroud, and um, in addition, it has a crap ton of places to put. SSDs, um, you know, um, hard drives and various other um, drives and things. Um, now, the one thing I've noticed while working in this case, and especially doing water cooling in this case, is that um, one of the downsides, uh, it, it has very few downsides, but this one's uh, kind of a big one, especially for water coolers. Um, it doesn't really support big um, reservoirs very well. Um, the space in the case is um, is generally pretty spacious, except for places where you you can mount reservoirs. Um, now those one of the places is between the graphics cards and the uh, the hard drive cages. And as you can see, uh, due to the how far the hard drive cages you know come out, that big red piece comes out. Um, it's real. It's you know. It really doesn't have room for anything bigger than maybe a 150 to 200 milliliter reservoir. So that is something that you probably do have to think about. Now you could mount it 
horizontally uh, at the bottom. That won't be a problem. I actually had to. That was one of my um, one of the uh, the places I had considered putting uh, one of my bigger 270 reservoirs. Um, but you know that is definitely something that you have to take into account when you're trying to do a water cooling build in this particular case. That's pretty much it for this video. See you in the next one.